Let's take a look at how to manage bulk items in a bill of materials. So I have an armature assembly open and I'm going to create a few bulk items in here. To do that, I will click on the create button and we get the create component dialog box. I'm going to change the radio button from the default part to bulk item and let's create our first. Let's have some lubricant in here and I'll click OK. And for the creation method, you could use copy from existing if you have a start part that already has the different parameters that you want. But in this case, I'm just going to use empty. And we have the checkbox to edit the parameters and relations. I'll click OK. And there are only two different parameters that I need for my bill of material. So let's click the plus sign. And the first one, let's create description. And rather than a real number, I'll use the drop down list to change this to a string. And for the value, I'm just going to use the same as the name of the component. So lubricant and create one other one. And this is the important one for the bill of materials, the quantity. And this one, rather than using a number, I'm going to change this to a string as well. A lot of times I see a slash R for as required. That's what I use a lot for my quantities. So that's good. Let's click the OK button. And there we have our first bulk item. And I'm just going to create a couple other ones real quick. Let's do one for the sealant. And same as before, let's create description, string, and for simplicity, just use the same value. And again, one for the quantity. And use that as a string, as required. And one last one for the paint. Create bulk item, paint. Okay. And one thing that I want to note about this, let's use gray paint for the description. When you are creating this quantity, you don't have to use as required, of course. If you knew an actual quantity that you wanted to put in here, whether it was one gallon or let's say that you wanted to specify a length or something like that, you could put that in here as well. But just for simplicity, I'm just going to use the default as required to indicate that someone's probably going to go to a common supply cabinet to grab the amount that they need for this particular object. So that is good. I have my three bulk items in here and let's hop over to the drawing that I started for this. So I have the assembly. I have an exploded view created in here and I started off a table in another video that I did for bulk bills of material. I uh, already showed how to create the table and fill in the information for your header line. But now I'm going to create my repeat regions to extract values. And for managing my bulk items, I'm going to use two separate repeat regions. One at the top for my components and then another one lower on that will be used to manage the bulk items. So I'm on the table tab. I will click repeat region and I'm going to add a repeat region from here to there. And so that's one that's created and then one from here to there. And that's good. So I'll click done and let's fill out our first repeat region. So I will double click in the cell and for the index number, I'll choose report index. And this is pretty much like I did in the other video. And for the number, I'm going to put the assembly member name in this situation. And for my first repeat region, for the name of the object, it's going to be assembly, member, and then PTC common name. And just like before, report quantity. And at this point, I will update the tables. And here you can see that we have our table created. And this one includes the bulk items in here. And let's start off by changing the attributes of the repeat region. 
I just want to make sure that we have no duplicates so that we get a quantity number and we will choose recursive so that it goes into the different subassemblies and I'll click done return and so there it updated the quantities in here and the number of components but again right now I still have my bulk items in here and you can see that it's listing the common name of the objects at this point I'm going to create a filter to remove the bulk items so to do that in the menu manager I'll choose filters and then pick my repeat region and you could do it by item and I could pick them one by one but I want to write a rule in case someone adds more bulk items to this later on so let's use add and the filter is going to be ampersand asm dot mbr member dot type and I want objects that are not equal to the value bulk item and that's in quotations and now when I click done and done return you'll notice that those three objects are no longer listed in the repeat region now let's create our second repeat region this one is going to have only the bulk items so let's click done to get out of the menu manager and double click in the first cell and this is going to be report index and for the number this is going to be assembly member name and for the name rather than using assembly member PTC common name like I did before I'm going to use that description parameter so I'll change the report symbol to user defined and for the name of the dis symbol description and for the last quantity uh, column again rather than doing report quantity which would give me a number of one in that cell I'm gonna grab that quantity parameter I created assembly member user defined and this is QTY and now when we update the tables you'll notice that we have again all the different components repeated in here and then we have our bulk items down at the bottom now I'm going to add a filter here so I'm only getting the bulk items in the second repeat region so let's choose repeat region filters and select the second repeat region and again I'm going to do it by rule let's add the rule and this time I'm going to do ASM MBR dot type and you'll notice it's preceded with an ampersand and I'm going to use a double equal sign to that I only want stuff that is of the type bulk item and hit done and done return and it updates so there we have our three bulk items and it's got the number it's got the name here's that one name that I changed and for the quantity we have as required you'll notice though that the index numbers are starting over with one two and three we actually want our index numbers to pick up from where the previous table left off and so in order to do that we are going to choose the attributes and pick this repeat region and we're going to choose start index and right now in the message area it's prompting me to select another region in the same table so I will select this repeat region and then done return and done and you'll notice now our bulk items start off with 14 picking up where the last one ended at 13 so I've got my bill of materials table filled out here I have my exploded view if I want to create my different bomb balloons well let's go ahead and select our table and if I go to properties oops got the wrong got a cell by mistake let's select the table and go to properties and for bomb balloons we're going to specify for all regions we could do 
simple circle or a quantity split circle. I'm just going to use simple circle uh, because for the quantity split circle, it'll use that report index in here, but I don't want to have uh, it report numbers of one for the bulk item. So let's just use that simple circle and click OK. And so now I can create balloons and I can create them for the first repeat region. For simplicity, I can choose by view and then select the region and select the view. And there we get our different bomb balloons corresponding to the first region. To create bomb balloons for the different bulk items, you can go to the create balloons command and rather than use create balloons all by view, by component or component in view, you can choose by record. And we can select our region and now in the message area it's prompting me to select a bulk or included item record from the bomb table. In this case I'll choose the paint and over in the menu manager you could choose no leader or with leader and with leader I will select where I want it attached to and then a free point on the drawing and that way we can have bomb balloons included for our bulk items as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creolwindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.